I'm Chris Nidden, riding for Tyco BMW number 24. The mission for 2016 is just to have a good year, you know, a um, lot of good riders in this championship, so very difficult to know where we'll end up, but, you know, keep plugging away and do the best we can, that's all you can hope for. I could improve on last season by scoring more points, I guess, that's a simple way of doing it. Um, yeah, last season was alright, but just a bit difficult with a few things, so yeah, I guess uh, just making sure we're there at every race and stay consistent and be there at the end. Wouldn't really say I had much of a highlight uh, at any point during the year. We had a front row at Silverstone and uh, finished the season off well. I'd just say um, the highlight was just probably the way that we sort of worked our way through the season and um, I'm pretty proud of the way he sort of finished off the year. So. It was um, not the easiest season I've ever had, so I'm pretty proud of the way we ended up. <laughs> Biggest downer of last year was probably just the fact that it was just, um, we just seemed to have a lot of bad luck. Um, I broke my leg at round two, uh, managed to ride through through it for the second race, but um, that sort of put us on the back foot, so, so to speak, and uh, that, was, that definitely put a dent in our championship, so I'd say that was a bit of a downer. <laughs> Dumbest or stupidest thing I've ever done on two wheels? Well, every time I get on track with 32 other of these flipping lunatics, that's pretty dumb. Um, remember once me and my mate were playing on the pit bikes and we started building jumps and uh, that started out just a bit of a ramp on some wood chip and then in the end we... That ended up we got the digger out and she was about a 30-foot jump on a 110cc pit bike and that got a bit silly. That got We had to stop it and uh, we had to stop it in the end when my mate, who's a bit larger than life, um, in every single way. He, basically landed that heavy that the engine fell out the bottom of my bike so that was pretty dumb. Do you know what I have to sort of listen to anything because I work as a builder and uh, unfortunately we have to have Radio 2 on during the day because that's what the boss likes to listen to so I have to listen to all that Steve Wright in the afternoon and all that rubbish so he, he mainly talks rubbish through it and talks about politics and all boring stuff and then plays some old stuff that I've never heard so I don't know, we do that and then every now and again we get a bit of capital on and uh, I tell him we should have that on all day because I speed up when, when there's a bit of a beat to it. So yeah, anything really with a beat, but I've got a pretty wide range of music, I can listen to just about anything. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy as long as there's something going on. Well, I certainly don't really like to relax away from the track. Um, I like to keep busy. Um, training's a big part of racing and... Uh, wouldn't say I enjoy it, but I do a lot of it. Um, I like to ride bikes, any kind of bike, so get on the mountain bike, uh, motocross bike whenever I can, trials bike with mates, and uh, yeah, that's about it really, just life revolves around motorbikes. Uh, if fans approach me, they should go, wow, Christian, you're amazing. No, I don't know, just come up and say hello, you know, it's real nice, I like, um, that's, that's always the best thing with the BSB paddock and, and the fans in BSB is that they're so so well informed and it's uh, that's the I did a couple of years in, in World Championship and there was hardly any fans at the track and the most amazing thing about BSB is seeing all the guys on pit lane walk about so just come up say hello and you know enjoy it enjoy the racing and you know cheer me on.